USA Kukiwan Taekwondo Cup Championships. We have representation here from over 20 countries and 31 states. Arizona, Aruba, Bolivia, Brazil, Canada, California, Chile, Colorado, Connecticut, Costa Rica, Delaware, District of Columbia, Dominican Republic, Ecuador, Ethiopia, Florida, Georgia, Haiti, Idaho, Jamaica, Jordan, Kentucky, Korea, Louisiana, Massachusetts, Mexico, Missouri, Morocco, Nepal, Nevada, New Jersey, New York, North Carolina, Ohio, Oklahoma, Oregon, Panama, Pennsylvania, Peru, Rhode Island, South Carolina, St. Martin, Tennessee, Texas, United Kingdom, United States, Utah, Virginia, and Washington State. Thank you to all of the countries and states that have brought students to participate in this event today. Thank you so much for joining us today at the 2022 USA Kukiwan Cup Taekwondo Championships. My name is Erica Lee, and thank you so much for joining us. And along with Erica, my illustrious co-host, my name is Christian O from the, from the DMV. Make some noise, DMV! So excited to be here. I will be your fellow MC for the rest of the evening. So again, we have an amazing lineup for you guys. So I'm so excited. More than 1,000 Taekwondo students from 20 countries and 31 states have participated for the past two days. And we thank you for being part of the 2022 USA Kukiwan Cup Taekwondo Championships. The Kukiwan Cup is one of the five Kukiwan Taekwondo Expo events, which started six days ago on June 27th. On behalf of Kukiwan, the organizing committee, and its president, Grandmaster Dr. Lee Dong Sup, I would like to welcome all of you to the 2022 USA Kukiwan Taekwondo Expo's closing gala and show. Ever since Kukiwan was established in 1972, it has been contributing to world peace through educating and hosting global rank examinations, instructors' academies, and developing its demo team. Tonight, we will witness the demo team in action as they come to us after traveling and performing across more than 130 countries to promote Kukiwan Taekwondo on a global audience. This is the first ever five-tier Taekwondo Expo. Kukiwan's World Taekwondo Academy drew more than 350 masters, which made the Academy the largest Kukiwan event ever hosted outside of Korea. Last night's forum and dinner banquet brought Kukiwan and masters closer with well over 500 attendees. I especially like to thank our Cookie One president, Grandmaster Dr. Idong Sup, for listening to voices from different parts of the world. Tonight, we are here to celebrate with the evening gala featuring the world famous Cookie One demonstration team, along with K-pop and traditional dances, Miss America, 
leaders from Washington, D.C. with the Taekwondo, but also I do know sooner or later you will become one of our Taekwondo, Taekwondo families. Am I right? right. All the masters and grandmasters and all the referees and judges and volunteers that you are unbelievably helped make this event a success. Thank you very much. Let's give them a big hand, please. And also, we have many of uh, uh, many country ambassadors here. Thank you very much for the joint with us. Then it's a hope to you to enjoyable 
are evening with us. And when you return to the, your country, make sure you have, you owe to us promoting Taekwondo. Am I right? <laughs> yes, thank you so much. It's a, uh, and we have is a uh, honorable, as uh, Gregory Murphy, actually he's chairman of the, I mean director of the, our uh, event. But uh, he will soon, uh, soon, he will give you some speeches. But in the meantime, I hope everybody Enjoy good evening with us. And it's a hope to, I will try to make it short. Okay, thank you very much. To be happy, and be happy. Thank you. We have a proclamation that has been bestowed to us from the governor of Virginia proclaiming today as Taekwondo Day for the state. Next up, we have a special performance for everybody, one of the moments you've all been waiting for. We have a special breaking demonstration from the Cookie One demo team with a special intro from the Lee Brothers elite team from Raleigh, North Carolina.
Come on, guys, make some noise. Show your love and energy.
60 years old and head of the team. Please, make some noise. Just so you guys know, typically the, the team leader does not perform demonstrations. So this is a gift for you guys. So make some noise! And as my uh, lovely co mc had mentioned, this is just the appetizer, ladies and gentlemen. Our main course is going to be coming later, so get excited!
Come on, guys. He needs your strength and love here. Strength and love. but this is a huge undertaking. some of the, the bricks here in the middle. While we're doing that, I'm gonna teach you guys a Korean lesson really quickly. Um, everything in Korea right now, K-pop. How many people love K-pop? Raise your hand. Or make some noise. What about Korean dramas and movies? Netflix is your friend. So is Hulu, so is uh, Vicky. What about Korean food? Make some noise. And then obviously, Korean martial arts. Make some noise for Taekwondo and Gookie uh, Wan. I'm gonna teach you one word in Korean which covers all that, all right? So when I say the word, I want you guys to say the word, all right? So, Hallyu. So I'll say hi, you guys say you. Hi. Hi. Hi! All right, Hallyu means the wave, the wave of Korean pop culture. I remember when I was a kid, you know, this might date me, my mom would borrow videotapes, because, you know, VHS, some of you young people don't even know what a VHS is, but VHS cassettes, and they would have top inki kayo, you know, like the top 10 or top 40 Korean songs and Korean groups. This is before K-pop became international. So, Hallyu covers everything. The wave of Korean pop culture. So, what we have coming up next is going to be a dance team that's going to be doing K-pop dance to K-pop songs. So, let's do it one more time. When I say hi, you say you. Hi! 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 All right, guys, so you learned a new word, Hallyu, all right? So, let me make this introduction while they are still moving our bricks out of the way. We have established in 2021, Connect with a K, DMV, is a team that connects K-pop dancers around the Washington DC metro area. We know this as the DMV, so Connect DMV. By connecting all these different dancers, they expose each other to new skills and help each other improve as they simultaneously 
build a stronger K-pop dance community in the DMV area. So for their first sit set, the team will showcase powerful girl crush energy with songs from Itsy's Dala Dala and South Korean's Dance Survival Program, Street Woman Fighter, and X, I mean YGX's choreography of BOA's Eat You Up and Better. Are you guys excited? All right, I think we're almost ready, so make some noise for Connect DMV!
One more round of applause for DMV Connect! We have a special collaboration presentation with members of the Kukiwan demonstration team and Hyok Lee performing Korean dance with a special appearance by Lee Ingold. Socially discouraged and loved, the heart of a mother who is stuck in the corner of her heart cannot be expressed in words. But one day, her son came across Taekwondo. She can't hide her joy at the sight of her son who loves Taekwondo. The mother's heart clumped with emotional baggage, sublimated into endless love through Kukiwan Taekwondo.
you. Give them one more round of applause for that incredible performance. So as you'll see walking off stage, Lee's real mom, Tamara, is there with him. And it's so wonderful to see that motherly love. I really wanted to quickly um, give Lee's bio as well. I think it's important to note. So Lee has always enjoyed sports, but as he got older, it became more difficult for him to participate in group sports because he has Down syndrome. So it was suggested by somebody that he try Taekwondo. And he fell in love with Taekwondo, and after three years, he just tested for his first degree black belt. So give Lee a round of applause. says that Taekwondo has improved his focus, balance, and self-confidence, and his mom is grateful to his master and other instructors who have guided him through his Taekwondo journey. So thank you all who have made a difference in Lee's life. I am so honored to be here today as the first Korean American Miss America. It is such a wonderful honor. Thank you so much. It truly is such an honor to represent the Korean American community. As somebody who's half Korean and half white, I never really understood my identity until I grew up and learned from my grandparents and really understood my roots and my culture. And it's funny because both of my brothers actually did Taekwondo growing up, so I spent many, many hours at their Taekwondo practices. And I also wanted to mention, so my older brother has Down syndrome, so that's kind of where this connection lies. And it's really special to get to see a young boy with Down syndrome who has found his identity in Taekwondo, who has been able to develop a sound mind and a strong heart because of his involvement in Taekwondo. And I think it's important to not only thank our families who support us on this journey, but also all of the masters, the volunteers, the supporters, the mentors, all of the people who made all of you who competed this weekend, who made it possible for you to be here. So make sure that you take a moment to thank your master. Thank the people who are here supporting you on your Taekwondo journey. I am seriously so honored to be here again. Thank you so much to Kugyuan for having me. This is so special to me. And I'm thrilled, again, to be participating tonight. I'm really excited for all of you to see the rest of the show this evening. And thank you again for being here. Of course, thanks to all of our volunteers who are here as well and all of our sponsors. But thank you all and enjoy the rest of the show. Okay, everybody so far enjoy, right? Yeah. Am I right? Okay, uh, we have, you know, a really good mood so, much, so far right now. Uh, but, you know, we cannot miss these things, you know. We cannot miss and then uh, we cannot process right now. We have, you know, uh, our uh, distinguished Taekwondo senior, Grandmaster, uh, Master Level of people, you know, middle of this place here. I want a special introduction to you, everybody. Okay, uh, they are, you know, without the people here right now, we cannot practice all over the world. I want to say, uh, we have so many people here right now, I just wanted to say one time, you know, uh, all distinguished Grand Master, Supreme Master, everybody here, this minute, you know, we need to give them so big clouds right now for them right now. Thank you so much. Okay, I am here, you know, for uh, introduction to, you know, VIP, some uh, people, already, already some, you know, introduction to you, everybody. But, you know, uh, I wanted to say, uh, from Korea, Kukiwon. From Korea, Korea. Okay, uh, Director, Cha Sang Hyuk. Can you stand up for me? Everybody, uh, welcome here, please, okay. We have a really, really successful, you know, uh, academy uh, through right now. Uh, we have, you know, from Kukkiwon uh, Headquarter, Academy Director, uh, Grandmaster Kang Se Won. Thank you. Thank you. Next, we have, you know, uh, demonstration team, uh, 
Grand Master, you know, uh, what's his name? Uh, Mr. Nam Sung Hyun. He was, you know, highlight many, many years. But today, already, you know, uh, maybe jet lag, maybe that's what I wanted to say right now, okay? Uh, Grand Master Nam Sung Hyun, he's, you know, uh, team leader, uh, our Gukyeon team, and then demonstration team manager, coach. Nam Sung Hyun, Kim Sang Gun, Sang Si Yoon. Can you stand up, please? Okay, give them a weekend, everybody. Also, we have, you know, really distinguished, you know, our country. We have a lot of different country people here right now. USA, United States Taekwondo Union, formerly, uh, this president of, you know, uh, United States Taekwondo Union, also same time. He was, you know, 10 time US Olympic team coach. Grand Master Sangli from Colorado Springs here right now. Let's welcome him, everybody. Okay, next. I am one of our Lee brothers. We have a six brother, uh, world known. Six, we say Grand Master. We have a uh, Grand Master level of people here right now, we say. But this time, we try our best, you know, take on the promotion area, you know. A lot of different, we try this time. The old six brothers, we try to make these things happen right now. I hope everybody enjoy today's all export, everybody. Did, did you enjoy it, right? Everybody, right? Okay, uh, our uh, oldest brother, Grandmaster H. Kelly. Can you stand, please? Next brother, that's me. My name is K.S. Lee. Thank you so much. Third one, uh, today's all this organization, you know, directing and then managing everything, you know, he's unbelievable, my brother, too, younger brother. You see, Grand Master Juni, let's give him a K. Next brother, all tournament today, totally charged, you know. He does really excellent job. I'm so proud of my brother. Brother, Grand Master Pyeongni, where are you? Pyeongni Ken, yay! Next brother, he's from North Carolina. Okay, uh, he was a lot of, you know, uh, action movie, all kinds of things he does do that. Formerly, you know, a lot of demonstration too. Okay, uh, we have a uh, um, next brother, Grandmaster Sang Ho Lee. Our youngest brother, we have youngest brother. He is, you know, always, you know, uh, not good job and everything's, you know, problem and then he, he's charged everything, you know. So all elder brothers say, go ahead and do that. No, I'm just kidding right now, okay? Anyway, uh, my younger brother, he's so good without complaint, all the time working hard, you know. So we are truly proud, you know, with my young, youngest brother. Grand Master Chung Ho Lee! Okay, uh, tonight uh, we have a lot of, you know, uh, things going on right now, but, you know, until today, without their support, we cannot be here today. So, I want to briefly tell you, Korean American Association, you know, President Steve Lee, can you stand up for me? Okay, thank you very much. Give me a big hand right now. Also, uh, I really think, you know, ABC, CBS, and then NBC, and then Fox, you know, I think television, maybe somebody will be here. They, sub, they say, Master Lee, you covered, you know, many times, talk to me. But, you know, uh, even he's here, uh, he's here or not, everybody, thank you for them, everybody. Thank you for cover our Taekwondo right now. Thank you so much. Also, uh, we are Korean. Korean American, okay. Uh, we are here in America, you know, more than 30, 40 years. 
my elder brothers, you know, almost 50 year uh, teaching Taekwondo in uh, Washington, D.C. area. I'm so proud of my brother, you know. Also, same thing, all our six brothers follow him, whatever he's, you know, uh, working, we do that for them. So we have a thousand people we teach, you know, almost last 40 years. I'm so uh, proud of myself, our brothers, the same thing. Okay, so today, uh, we have a lot of, you know, Korean uh, daily newspaper, Korea Times, Korea Central Daily News, Joseon Daily News, High US Korea. They are uh, remarkable. They're helping you know, for us. So thank you to them, everybody. Thank you so much, everybody. I think, you know, that's it. Well, hopefully, you know, remain in the show. Everybody, you know, enjoy, please. Thank you so much, everybody. Make some noise for Grandmaster Lee and the Lee Brothers! Alright, we're about to have a cultural experience. So while this dance, I mean this drum group, they are the Didimse Korean Traditional Institute, and they will be performing a drum performance called Bodumbuk. So while we prepare, I want to I want to ask, ask you guys a couple questions. First of all, who graduated in, in 2022? Where are my students? All right, I know it's been a tough four years for you guys, so my hat's off to you. So congrats. The other thing I want to thank: Where are my parents of all the various Korean Taekwondo students? Make some noise. Because this is what I want to say. I want to thank the parents for all the hard work, dedication, travel, all the things that you do to make sure your kids fully immerse and enjoy Taekwondo. So again, a round of applause for the parents. While they're setting up, all right, while they're still setting up, let me explain what they're gonna be doing. It's called, um, like I said, wooden book. Assorted drums are a form of playing various drums of different pitches. It is a percussion instrument that is a modern improvement of traditional drums. So the sound of a drum is the closest to the sound of a human heart. Thus, it is an instrument that gives excitement and stability to the mind and body. So let's make some noise for DDMSE, Korean Traditional Institute.
Are you guys having fun? It is my special privilege to be conducting this super high black belt examination process with Miss America, Emma Broyles. Give her a big hand, please. And Congressman Gregory Murphy. You have a very simple task. The black belt does not come that easy. Um, my senior, Professor Nam, despite being 60 years old, did you see him do backflip? Yeah, Over two tables, right? Ladies and gentlemen, I don't know if this is a real situation. I hope not. Okay, there we go. Just making sure you guys are all paying attention. Well, no, I think it's that the audience and everyone we have are just way too hot. Make some noise! Make some noise, everybody! You two have to only go back to live over one table. Okay. Not two, just one. I think we can make it happen. No problem, yeah. <laughs> Sir? Yes, he wants to know if he should take his jacket off. Absolutely. We work out barefooted too. Take your shoes off too, sir. And your socks. He needs to get the full experience. Give him a big hand, please. In the high heels, there we go. Okay. Congressman Murphy, I'm going to have you go first. Okay? I'm going to save you. Okay. I want you to watch very carefully because this is, this is a very important one. Sir! Grandmaster Bionni will be holding the board. Give him a big hand, please. First, face the audience. Please face the audience. Congressman Murphy, a big hand, please. Do you like the challenge this? Sir, I would like a clean break. I need him for my uh, yard this weekend. <laughs> Spirit, we just do not give up. Thank you for demonstrating that indomitable spirit of Taekwondo. Miss America, Miss Emma Broyles, you are not paying attention. You gotta pay attention. Stay focused. Thank you. Are you ready? Take a deep breath. I have never seen anybody break a board with a tiara. It's so, so in the high heels too. It's like five inches on that thing. Okay, it's very simple. First, face, on the bow. Place your left foot in front. 
Bring your hands up like so in a fighting stance. Now, very important part of what we do, you have to yell very loud. You gotta, it's got to dig deep. It's got to come from your diaphragm from deep. And you go, Let's give them another big hand. They'll be receiving their honorary black belt from Cookie One. Congressman Gregory Murphy will, will be receiving the honorary sixth down black belt from Cookie One. And Miss America, Emma Broyles will be receiving the honorary fourth down black belt. States and Korea enjoy such wonderful relations today, in part primarily to the Kukimon relationship. So thank you all. Remember, in these times where we need moral values, honesty, integrity, respect, perseverance, and spirit, Taekwondo teaches this. So keep this strong in your heart, and thank you so much. You already heard me today, so I promise I'll keep it short. But again, Thank you so much. This is an incredible honor. I am so thrilled to be able to represent the Korean American community as Miss America. And this is such a wonderful honor that I will cherish for the rest of my life. So thank you all so much. Let's give them another big hand, everybody. Congressman Murphy and Miss Emma Broyles. All right, we've got two more performances before we get to our main event. I know you guys are all waiting. Um, again, thank you guys for being here. I know it's been a long day for the competitors, the judges, the officials, 
the VIPs, the ambassadors, thank you guys. Thanks to our sponsors, I'm not gonna name them all, but thank you guys for uh, contributing and allowing us to have Kukiwan Expo. So at this point, we have another performance from Connect DMV. Are there any George Mason alumni here? Ray, make some noise. All right, I'm a George Mason alumni. So is Erica. We are so glad to be here at Eagle Bank Arena. So what is Connect DMV going to do next? They are going to strive to showcase additional versatility and challenges um, by challenging themselves by dancing to both K-pop boy groups and girl groups. All right, who loves Blackpink? Make some noise. Who loves BTS? I know Monster X was here. Who came? Okay, some of you. Um, you know, 17 is coming here. Make some noise. And then there's a lot of groups on tour. Yes, we're coming out of this pandemic and hopefully things will be more and more K-pop concerts. But for Connect DMV, this next set will showcase the spectrum of K-pop dances and songs with Who Likes 101? 101's Energetic and iZone's Fiesta. All right, you guys ready? Let me know when you're ready. Make some noise for Connect DMV.
All right, make some noise for our Connect DMV. All right, all right. I know you guys are excited about our main event, so we need to get moving. Coming up, we have another performance from the DDMSA Korean Traditional Institute. They are going to be performing Hwasun Muguk, which means literally flower line dance song. It is a contemporary dance repertoire based on traditional movements that imitate traditional Korean brush drawings, expressing freedom and the beauty of the mountains, rivers, forests, and other sceneries in the land of Korea. So I am very, very excited to see this. Make some noise again for Didimse Korean Traditional Institute.
make some noise for again for DDMC Korean Traditional Institute. But I have a very important question. Are you ready? That wasn't good enough. Are you ready? All right, we have Cookie One, the National Demo Team. Come on out! The main event. And I've been told that they are walking in the 4th of July parade in downtown DC, so you can check them out there, as well as supposedly they're performing on Sunday at 7 p.m. at the Lincoln Memorial, right there. So that's a free show. If you guys are downtown DC tomorrow, definitely check them out. So this is going to be the grand finale. Get your cameras ready. I don't know if you got to see them perform on CBS's The World's Best, but they made such an impression on RuPaul, Drew Barrymore, even Faith Hill. I think they got Faith Hill to break a board. I can't remember. But again, the Cookie One demo team! I was just told that on Conan O'Brien, he went to Korea and did something with the Cookie One demo team. So if you haven't seen that episode, go look for it.
all the three brothers, all the three brothers come to the group. All the three brothers come to the floor, please. All the three brothers come to the floor, please. Let's give them another big applause. Can you say coming back again? Can you everybody say Pookie won? Pookie won! Pookie won! Pookie won is number one! Thank you very much. You know what? Then it's uh, before we conclude, Pookie won screaming with everybody. All to all the liberal brothers, line up, please. Chundala, chow me give one. Okay, okay. All right. We all, the three brothers, would like to say thank you to everybody because of your support. We have one of the biggest events held in the United States about Taekwondo event. Thank you very much. Okay, everybody, Chajan! Chajan! Kune! Thank you very much. Safe journey home and stay healthy and happy forever. Thank you very much. We love you all.